Hello students, welcome to Drishti IAS. My name is Saloni Nandkyolia and in this video we are going to talk about India's performance in the Global Artificial Intelligence Vibrancy Report. So there is this report, the Global AI Vibrancy Report, which is released by the Stanford University, where basically all these different countries, they are evaluated based on their national AI ecosystem. What kind of an AI ecosystem do they have based on that? There are certain scores that are given to these countries, certain rankings that are given to these countries. And in this year's index, our performance has been very good because we have secured the third position third position globally we are just behind the us and china first is us second is china and third is india india has significantly improved its ranking in comparison to the last report last time we were at the seventh position and now we have moved to the third position and if you notice, we are even ahead of some global front runners like the United Kingdom or Japan or South Korea. We are even ahead of that when it comes to the artificial intelligence ecosystem that we are building within our country. And apart from this, the report also talks about the worldwide spending on AI investment. How are different countries funding their AI or the AI ecosystem? So Canada has committed $2.4 billion, China has launched a $47.5 billion semiconductor fund, France has also pledged 109 billion euros, India has also announced $1.25 billion and Saudi Arabia's project Transcendence represents a sweeping $100 billion push. So all the different countries are actually scaling up their investments in the artificial intelligence area, in the semiconductors and all these different areas because they want to upskill or they want to move to a better ranking and actually build a better artificial intelligence ecosystem in their country because now all things actually involve artificial intelligence. So we need to be building more responsible AI, we need to be building ethical AI and we need to have proper policies and things in place in order for to the entire ecosystem to be developed in our country. Now, if I talk about the different parameters or different pillars on which these countries are evaluated, so there are seven pillars. As per the report, there are seven pillars on which these different countries are evaluated. First is the research and development. The research and development, the innovation that we are building about in the artificial intelligence sector. So in India's case, this has been very good. In fact, the ranking, the, uh, the you know, improvement in ranking that we see in this year's report is primarily because of our initiatives in research and development, which means we are publishing more research papers, more scientific uh, papers, more patent filings are happening. There is an increase in all these things. So research and development is an area where India is performing good. Then the second pillar is about responsible AI as I already told you that our AI ecosystem needs to be responsible, it needs to be ethical. We see so many um, negatives or negative implications of using AI in certain unethical things. There are deep fakes, there's digital arrest, there are frauds of all types. So we need to have a responsible AI ecosystem as well. Then economy how is artificial intelligence contributing to the economy? What kind of performances do we see over here? Like the AI ecosystem, we are the third, third largest startup ecosystem in the world. And even within this, more and more startups in the artificial intelligence domain are also coming up. So India's policies are uh, startup friendly. India's policies are friendly towards these startups who are working in the artificial intelligence domain. So how is all these things, how is all this contributing to our economy is also something that is taken into consideration. Then talent is also seen. What kind of professionals do we have? How qualified are our professionals? So uh, we see a lot of STEM graduates there's an increase in the STEM graduates also, science, technology, engineering and mathematics. So this is also an area where India has seen an improvement. Research and development is one area where we saw an improvement. Talent is also one area where we saw an improvement. More qualified professionals are coming in in this uh, artificial intelligence domain. Then policy and governance is also evaluated, which means what kind of policies do we have, what kind of national missions do we have in different countries. That is also evaluated, like in the case of India, we have the India AI mission, right? 
where we basically want to build more indigenous AI technologies, a more robust indigenous AI framework. Because our vision is what? AI for all. The Niti Aayog's vision, the in, uh, initial vision that we have for artificial intelligence is artificial intelligence for all. We want to make it inclusive. We want to make it ethical. We want to make it free from all types of biases and in, available to everybody. So these are some areas. Policy and governance is also one area where we actually evaluate what kind of policies these different countries have. But this is one area where we are not doing very good. In fact, as per the previous ranking, we have slipped five positions in this pillar so in uh, policy and governance we need to do more work we need to do better work because here our ranking has not improved in this pillar under this pillar our ranking has not improved it has slipped by five positions then public opinion is also something how do people perceive artificial intelligence how comfortable are they in using artificial intelligence what kind of awareness do they have in this domain this is also something that's evaluated and then infrastructure is also evaluated what kind of an infrastructure do we have what kind of a hardware infrastructure do we have data systems do we have how um, how competitive are they how modern are they all these things are also measured so basically these are the seven pillars on which this report is generated and India has been doing very good in research and development and talent, but more work needs to be done in policy and governance. But we are on the right track. Things are moving, things are moving forward. From seventh position, we have now upgraded ourselves to the third position. We have the third largest uh, startup ecosystem in the world and startups for AI are also coming up. Funding for that is also generated. So all these things are happening. Now we need to work more in the same direction. We need to have better and robust policies, more inclusive policies, more transparent and fairer policies. So that was all for this video. Thank you for watching. Now let us practice a question for prelims. The Global AI Vibrancy Index assesses countries on which of the following aspects? 1. Research and development in artificial intelligence. 2. Availability of AI talent. 3. Public opinion and trust in AI. 4. Existence of computing infrastructure. Select the correct answer using the code given below. A. 1 and 2 only. B. 1, 2 and 3 only. C. 2, 3 and 4 only. Or D. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Please attempt this question and provide your answers in the comment section. Thank you for watching. For more informative content, like, share, and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.